All I asked this commission to do was to finish an investigation into the allegations that I was investigating. The allegations were against President Zuma that he, he, he was allowing his friends to choose who comes into government. He was allowing them to influence who gets kicked out of government in strategic positions if those people don't play along. And he was allowing the friends to choose who replaces the people that have been removed and that his friends were the, the Guptas who were in business with his son. So that was a simple, because, you know, um, uh, as a public protector, you investigate like a court, you investigate what has been alleged. What then President Zuma did was to expand the investigation into everything that has to do with corruption. And therefore it has gone big. There's, we've lost something by it going big. We've lost evidence because then if you look at where we are now, we're into things that could have been investigated within six months of the commission starting. So we've lost that. So uh, they talk about cold cases, but crime, crime becomes a cold case. The trail gets cold when we're trained on investigation called sharpen your teeth. And you guys, you, you'll know from investigative journalism is that the trail gets colder and colder the more time you take. But also the money also gets laundered. I mean, it was quite interesting. I won't mention names where somebody said they don't have any property. It was weird. Somebody my age who says they don't have any immovable property. So, but what do you do if you have immovable, if you have time, you make sure that your immovable properties are sold or ceded to other people and you have a back-to-back -back agreement that makes sure that you will get back your property in some way. So this is what I think has happened. We won't be able to get the money and some of the trails are going to. But here's what we gained though. We gained far more than what we knew and what we're investigating. So we've, we've gotten a much more bird's eye view of how rotten is the system beyond what we're trying to do. So much as we mourn the loss of time and the loss of money, never in my wildest dream did I think we would spend almost a billion to investigate this matter. No, I mean, for our own investigation, we had asked for one point, we had asked for 3 million and we spent 1.5. And so we thought at most they would need another 10 million or so. But here we are. I don't think we should cry though. I think we've lost something, we've gained something. It gives us a sense of where is the system poisoned? And if we really want a functional state, we have an opportunity to reset on, on, on corruption and, and, and the weaknesses in the system that allow this to happen.